Good evening to wherever you may be. It's time now for Midnight Baseball. I'm Spencer Dodgers. I'm Ted Theater Logan. And I'm Bill S. Esquire. And we're the Wild Stallions. And this is episode 69, dude. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. One of my favorite movies. 69, Baseball No Nothing. Bill and Ted's. We're going back in time. We're telling you why baseball is the greatest game, and we're going to tell you also to why we need to use more head protection in baseball. I want to hear more head protection. Don't end up like Bill and Ted. Don't end up brain dead. Don't be like Spicoli. Okay, dude, don't be like the Lebowski. Wear your headgear. Buster Posey took a shot. I want to know, is MLB or some other companies still doing new stuff on technology from our headgear? We know about the pitchers getting hit. Uh, shout out to Matt Shoemaker. Pitching well with the Angels this year, but... I want to know what's going on in episode 69, and are we still doing more to protect our players' heads in the game of baseball? All right. Trivia from last time. 50 home runs and 50 doubles one season. One, two, three. Mr. Albert Bell. Albert Bell of the 95 Indians also hit 50 doubles, 50 home runs. Check it. What a big guy. He had some issues going on on and off the field, but Albert Bell, super stud. Okay, uh, injuries going on right now. Big ones, this 10-day DL we talked about it yesterday as I was hanging on my uh, VW. Gene Segura, shortstop, Mariners goes down 10 days, minimum, hamstring. Adrian Beltre, uh, Beltre reactivates the calf for the Rangers. Big blows going in the American League West. And uh, I mean, those are the ones I'm just putting with Brian and I. I talked about more, a couple things going on. I talked about Posey and different things. Oh, uh, uh, is the... Clay Buckholz going down the righty for the Phillies. I liked what the Philadelphia did by picking up the insurance with Buckholz there, but and Boston needed it. Once Price went down, a couple other guys, but oh, the old Clay's drying up, and I don't know if it's the last year for him. So hopefully Clay Buckholz get better soon in Philadelphia. All right, something positive going on today is yo yo yo, and I am yes using my green screen on purpose all day today. Okay, my editor's out sick and on vacation, so I'm just doing an old school, I figure we can't do that, but three home runs from Yonis Cespedes tonight, okay, for the Mets, dominated the Phillies. I love what Cespedes has going on in New York and the Meadowlands right now with the Mets, okay, because he's comfortable, he got paid, there's no more contract issues, and what we found out, once again, I'm gonna talk about this, is the human personalities, they're huge, they're big, Chapman, I know, was going back to New York Yankees for sure, okay? But Cespedes is happy driving his Ferraris and all these 10 expensive cars. He's in a city that can handle him, and he's working out with the top trainers. They were doing these things where he's putting, like, compression, uh, what am I, rubber bands on his legs, getting some, cutting out the, the blood flow to his legs, which causes the muscles to get bigger, doing different things, using glasses. A lot of, to talk about innovation with the helmets, what I want to discuss is Cespedes is doing innovations with working out, and it's amazing. I saw it on, uh, I think it was E60 with Mendoza or just uh, Baseball Tonight. So good stuff from ESPN and talking about Cespedes right there and something I learned in the offseason. Uh, beach cycle. Will Myers is cruising around San Diego. He hit for a cycle yesterday. I talked a little down about Myers in the offseason, but I like to see what the Padres are doing. I'm cheering for him, okay? Get laid back. Get your boys together down at Padres and start doing it, okay, Daddy? And Francisco Lindor, this guy is going to be an MVP candidate if he isn't already. He's an amazing shortstop for the Indians. He hit a, got, got on base with a walk tonight, scored in a double, flying around the bases. He hit a home run, I believe, in the first inning. So Francisco Lindor, if you can get him in fancy, trade for him. He's amazing. He's fantastic. He's going to do great things. Uh, Shout-outs, or I should say more of a trivia going to. Pedro Guerrero's doing better and out of the hospital, I heard. Shout-out to Pedro Guerrero. And Otis Nixon had a little episode over the weekend where he got reported missing down in Florida. Otis is doing good. Thought about Otis Nixon, the Atlanta Braves. Fast guy. Most stolen bases is 72 by a Braves in one season, Otis Nixon, in the 90s. Which player for tonight's trivia, which player has the most stolen bases in Atlanta Braves franchise history? It's going to Atlanta, it's going to Milwaukee, it's going back to Boston with the Bean Eaters and the Bean Stockings. So, know your history. Noah, I might have you on this one. I hope I do. You never know where things are going to lead you, and that's how that trivia goes. Shout out, Mr. Jordan Montgomery. Jordan Montgomery is a lefty for the Yankees. He's making his start tomorrow for the first time in his career. He follows spring training for the fifth spot. Mr. Montgomery, I have a, 
eyes on you tomorrow. Hopefully the, all the Bronx can be cheering you on and you can be, do something special on your first day in the big leagues. Okay, gratitude. Everybody, I'm glad to be home. I hope you like the green screen. I'm going back to normal, it's all good. I, I've got no worries with it. I'm here to give you more content, I'm here to give you information. Spencer Dodgers is doing what he's doing best. Gratitude to the baseball gods and the midnight players. Hashtag retired Dodgers 34. Uh, Racklife.org, and we'll see you tomorrow. Woo! Guess who? Larry! And I still am 4 0. I don't know what Spencer was doing, but I'm in the garage. I live here, so pit tomorrow. Tigers. Michael Fulmer. Woo, he's throwing gas. Woo wee! Bye bye!